Alright guys, so if you saw on the Schmoes No channel on Monday, we reviewed the 1989 Batman, and as they said in that video, over on my channel, you're gonna get Batman Returns. So here we go with Batman Returns. The only one who can save this city is a creature of the night. Hello, people in Chris Stuckman world. We are the Schmoes. If you don't know who we are, I'm Christian. And I am Mark, and today we're doing Batman Returns on Chris's channel. We're very excited because this is the second best Tim Burton Batman. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> was the second one that he ever did. Uh, only second one? Whatever. Who Silver cares? medal, buddy. Let's get going. All right, so what is Batman Returns? It's Batman returning from Tim Burton. Basically, you, you just an analyzed movies so well. Thank you. This is Michael Keaton coming back for a second round, and guess what? There's two villains in this one. He's yeah. going up against the Penguin and against the very hot Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Now with Batman Returns, I feel almost close to the exact same way as the first. I like it just a teensy tad more. And for a lot of people, that's a little different because most people like the first one more. You got Michael Keaton back as Batman. You got Danny DeVito killing it as the Penguin. I mean, just thinking about Danny DeVito as the Penguin now, that is like the perfect idea for the Penguin. He is just, he is, he kind of is like a Penguin in real life. I mean... Poor guy. You got Christopher Walken as Max Shrek and Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. She is so good as Catwoman. Anne Hathaway has big shoes to fill. Halle Berry was Catwoman? What? <laughs> no. no. Yeah, she was. That was bad. While she craves a romance, she can sink her claws into... Your cat named her girl. He plots a foul reign of destruction. This is where it started, though, with the multiple villains. Mm -hmm. You have Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. You have Danny DeVito playing this thing. Oswald Cobblepot, the so Penguin. Th this is now, I know that I do not share the popular opinion here. I'm not a huge fan of this movie. Uh, I'm not sure that's the popular opinion of this movie, is that people like it. I, I, when I saw it in the theater, I just had a weird feeling afterwards. Yeah. I've come to appreciate it a little bit over time, but the tone of this movie so is so dark yeah. and so kind of different than the first one that I think it turned a lot of people off. Yeah, you know what it was is that the first movie, yes, it had it was Tim Burton's Batman, but you still had Batman in there. This is all Tim Burton. I mean, it feels like a Tim Burton movie from the second start, and there's circuses going on in the street and, you know, the goofy stuff that's just, you know, clowns, and it just feels really silly. It doesn't, I don't feel like I'm in Gotham anymore. I feel, I feel like I'm in a twisted carnival as opposed yeah. to Gotham, and look, Robert Wool was fine in Batman. I'm not going to praise him beyond words, but there was no, no real levity in this movie. It felt right. very dark and heavy the whole time. Having said that, it is a Batman movie, and I do enjoy watching when it comes on TV, especially because the Danny Elfman score, yeah. as in the first one, which we yeah. didn't mention in our review, is just phenomenal. I think it's better than the uh, Hans Zimmer score in the Christopher Nolan movies. You know, Hans Zimmer, it's James Newton Howard, let's be, easy. Let's, let's be easy on that. But yeah, Danny Elfman's score is fantastic, and it really that is the one thing that keeps it consistent throughout. And in this movie, Penguin successfully turns Gotham against Batman, and that's one of the reasons I like this movie a little bit more, because it made Batman the way he he was supposed to be. He's kind of supposed to be that outlaw vigilante type. You know, not everyone's supposed to be for sure like, are you good or are you bad? He's on that line. When he when he was in Batman, it was just all heroic and yay and everything. But Batman Returns kind of had that thing where the city wasn't positive. It, it, it gave the city some doubt and it gave some strength to the Batman character and I like that. That being said, this is still Tim Burton Batman and, and what I mean by that is it's not Batman. It, to me, it's just, it's not really Batman yet. It was still too circusy and whimsical and everything. <laughs> you missed. There are some great performances in it as well. Michelle I mean, Pfeiffer's great as yes, Catwoman. Yes, because the way she was able to, because she knew the tone of the movie and, and kind of what she was working with, so she fit the craziness of it all, and she had the only really character arc in the whole film. Yeah, almost as good as Halle Berry's Catwoman, I'd say. But even... <laughs> Even that, that movie, though, like, there was some silly stuff, though. You know, like, when she's licking herself like a cat and all this kind it of stuff. It was great. Like, not really, because she didn't become a cat. She just got, I mean, she got nine, I, I don't know. My head blows up thinking Little about Little Mark Ellis became a man that day. And then you got Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Yeah. I enjoyed that origin story a little bit. I liked seeing that he was this mistreated kid because he was born with the Penguin hands. And it just kind of, it, it got a little tired after a while, silly. I think, with him. Really silly, because I like him much better as the Lorax. Yeah, and we can't forget Christopher Walken as Max Shrek. Pee Wee Herman. Christopher for walking. Pee Wee Herman as Copper Pot's father in he's the very in, like, in, He's in one scene. He's still in the damn thing. You're in Carfax commercials. 
Where the first movie was a little bit too Joker heavy, I felt this movie balanced Batman and the villains a little bit more than the first one did. Michelle Pfeiffer is licking herself and everything, and yeah, it's a little over the top, but I don't really mind. She has this great introduction to meeting Batman and the Penguin. She's flipping, she's flipping, she's flipping, she gets in front of him, and she just goes, meow. And the whole building just blows up behind her. Great moment. I am Catwoman. Hear me roar. Meow. And you also, you don't stay consistent with the lore of Batman. He kills people in this thing, and then, you know, he, the way he teams up with the silly romance that he has with Selina Kyle, and I, I just, this movie was all over the map for me. I, I don't really like it at all. Uh, I go two out of five schmoes. It, it's tough for me to watch all the way through. I do enjoy parts of it, but I can't get this movie to three. I'm sorry. I'm going to go like 2.8 out of five schmoes. It's a Batman movie. Love the score. Can't get it to a really good score, though. It still has that, that Tim Burton-y stuff you know like that cheesy stuff going on though it just wasn't batman yet it also has a kind of slow part in the middle where he's it just seems like there was nothing really going on except him and michelle pfeiffer on a couch making out and everything and it just kind of lasted and i enjoyed the movie for the most part it's just not quite batman to me i'm going to give batman returns a b same grade as i gave the first one it's about the same for me i just like it a teensy tad more well it's a pleasure being here on chris stockman's channel we hope you guys come and I visit like this us. place it's a nice, nice place it looks a lot like our place comfy um now if you guys want to come and see uh batman forever then you got to check that out on our show please uh, please the review of batman forever not everybody wants to see batman forever our well, review, on the other hand, who wouldn't want to watch that? Val Kilmer was skinny. <laughs> he was. Thanks a lot, Schmoes. It was nice having you on my channel. If you haven't checked them out before, go over there and check them out. If I thought the first two films weren't quite Batman yet, <sighs> Joel Schumacher sure took care of that. And as always, guys, if you like this review, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuck my eye.